Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching part 4, part 4 of the video C Ash Table Layout Panel Container. In this video, we are going to add floors 1, 2, and 3. That means um, here. Uh, we will add all six rows later we will combine uh, um, two rows to denote uh, a floor number so all we want to do now is add six rows so this is row one row two row three four five six so that's what we are going to do in this uh, video These are all the videos, I mean uh, slides from the previous parts. So spanning we will do later or now if you see. This will be our form and we know that our form is contained a split container. And in the first portion of the split we have the table layout panel. And we already docked it and we saw only four cells right now what we are going to do we will four cell in the sense a two row two column that's what we saw by default we will now place uh, only one column and then six rows so we know that our bits will be arranged in a six rows as already explained in the previous spots so if you see here this will be floor 1 and this one will be floor 2 and then floor 3 that's how we arrange then this one will be the north portion and the south portion north south north south and in two rows on each room so this is room 1 2 3 in each room we will arrange the uh, check boxes each check box will denote a bit so that's how we are uh, designing this uh, form all right now we will go to our uh, form and uh, add these uh, six rows to our uh, table layout panel container so now we are in the document outline view and i'm selecting the table i mean the table layout panel then from the quick access menu here we are choosing edit rows and columns and if you see we have two column this is column one and column two you can see the line here and there is one uh, horizontal line that means one row two row first column second column so what we are doing now we will delete the second column we will click uh, ok and if you see now that column is gone we have two rows at this moment now let me click here only one column now let's choose rows here and we can see two rows so we need four more rows so first we changed it to rows and if you see here in columns we have only one column rows i'm simply clicking add third row fourth fifth and six there are six rows now and each one for now we will set auto size So now this contains actually six rows. So once we place control, the row will get uh, resized automatically. Yeah, that's all here. Now we have uh, six rows. That's all here in this video. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.